What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effects Studios, and we are inside of Adobe After Effects 2017. However, you should be able to do this in any version of After Effects from CS all the way up to now. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to animate light on text. Basically, the text is going to animate itself on. It's going to look like light is producing the text. Now, this question came in from Kerry Strong. He wants to know basically how to do this. So, I had to do some research on my own, and I found a video by Aaron Robowitz. I will have the link to his video in the description. He does it with something different. I'm using text. So, I'm actually going to write on the screen with text. Okay, so basically, this is what we're going to do. Okay, as you can tell, it draws the letters on, and each one of the letters looks like they are made with light. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new composition. We're going to have this at 1280 by 720 at 5 seconds long. Click on OK. From over here, we're going to add in some text. We're going to do and so we're going to select this, and we're going to come over. We're going to change this the times Roman numeral. Okay, come over here. Title action save. Go ahead and get our selection tool. Move this right in the middle. Get rid of that. Right click and choose create mask from text. Okay, now let's come over here. Layer, new, null object. And we're going to hit enter and name this controller. Come over to Effects, Expression Controls, and Slider. Now let's come over here to our Dark Effects Outline, which that's what it named it, which Dark Effects Studios Outlines. We're going to come over here to Effects, Generate, Stroke. Okay, now let's go ahead and hit a E, and then bring down our stroke. And then we also want to bring this one down as well. And then we want to hit our Alt and hit End. Grab a hold of our pick whip and drag it over here to slider. Now we want to come over here inside of our stroke properties. We want to set this to four, set this to zero, come over here, make sure that it is all masks, come down here to the original and choose on transparent. And this right here is going to make it to where it is no longer seen. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to click on our slider come out to our three second mark and make this 100. And now whenever we run it, it draws it onto our screen. So the next thing we want to do here is that we want to add in a glow. So we're going to choose effects, stylize, and glow. Now with our glow select, come down to our glow dimensions and we're going to change this to vertical. And then from our glow radius, we're going to come all the way here to the beginning. And we're going to create a keyframe, set this to zero. We're going to come out to about 107. And then we're going to change this to 290. That right there is going to create this glow that's going to come out from the top and the bottom. We're going to come out to about right up in here. And we're going to change this to 100. We're going to select both of these. And then we're just going to come out to about up in here. And then at the very end, we're going to set this down to zero. And now whenever we run it, okay, and that is pretty much how it is done. All right, I am Wayne Barron. This is Dark Effect Studios. And for the question, for a carry strong and if y'all noticed that it the after effects disappeared that's because it is in remote desktop y'all have a good one now bye bye